Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a tarot reading. Yes, a very good one. Yeah, I would definitely say. And uh, mm -hmm. we have one card here, one oracle card at the heart of the matter. It's not typically an oracle, but I suppose it uh, could be called that. This is based on the Tao. Uh, this is ancient Chinese wisdom. And the card is Youthful Folly. And it really talks about somebody who uh, grows up and you have to let somebody grow up on their own, even if they are doing something destructive or dangerous. Yeah, you just have to, uh, I mean, this could be a partner. You could, maybe it's a child, right? Uh, but definitely um, it's somebody that has to learn the hard way, their way. They have to learn it their way. They may not even learn through experience uh, and, you know, in other words, this basically this is about somebody who learns their lesson, but the real, the hard way, the long way. Yeah, they do. And, uh, that's what that, uh, this is about. Even if you have the best advice, the best intentions, uh, it's always best to let them stand by and not try to help somebody who doesn't want to be helped. And that's basically what this is about here. I feel like you have worried, uh, most likely nine of swords is here and this is actually your mindset yeah and this is it's a worried mindset uh you may want to rebuild with this person the ten of swords reversed i feel like you want to rebuild with somebody uh and you feel like they are wasting their time or their life maybe you feel like they are wasting their talents but it looks like you, you, you feel like this person may be wasting their time doing something either destructive or dysfunctional. It may be a relationship. Uh, it may be vices, alcohol. I'm, I'm not really sure here, but whatever it is that, that part's not clear, right? It's not indicated here what the problem is, but, uh, this youthful folly card says, let somebody mature on their own. Kind of like you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Kind of like that. And let's get a card on temperance. This is your overall energy here. And I feel like crossing that temperance is our, is you, Capricorn. So this means you are kind of challenged here. Uh, I feel like you are challenged. Is somebody finally going to gain balance in their life? Maybe uh, harmony with you? Uh, if this is about you in, another, in a relationship with somebody, you feel challenged here. Uh, this person uh, definitely is not living a life of temperance, which is, you know, basically moderation, right? When you, you don't live with a bunch of vices, you, you live, uh, more as a whole person and you, you know, you know that you just keep yourself away from really bad habits because you know that, uh, just because something is a simple pleasure, uh, you don't reach for it all the time, right? Because you realize that you can like kind of hurt your body and, you know, just cause your own destruction. Maybe somebody has a problem like that in this reading. It's possible. There's a lot of majors here. And so this is a huge reading and we have the Ace of Wands. And so, uh, we have five major arcanas here and, you know, originally 10, only 10 cards. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. but the page of swords here is in the root. So this is you wondering, and I feel like you are wondering, if this person will come forward or get their act together, maybe they have gone to jail. Justice is here reversed. It's here in the reading twice. It's possible for some. And the eight of wands, see, you are wondering if there's going to be change and progress and growth. There could be somebody here who is very immature and whatever you say to them, they have closed, they have closed their mind off. And I feel like close their mind. I feel like you are concerned here that this person, whoever it is, has their mind closed and they're not really learning or, you know, or will they ever, it's that type of energy here. Definitely. And, uh, here you have justice reversed in the past. So, uh, maybe you had to go to court with them possibly, but, uh, whatever it was, I feel like you felt like it wasn't fair. Uh, and you know, this can also come from a lack of balance in somebody's life. Justice is here twice. And, you know, definitely in the reverse. It could be a lack of balance. And let's see what else is showing up here, uh, in the past. And we have temperance again. Oh, gee here, uh, Sagittarians and Librans here possibly. And now we have the Empress who is reversed. So, you know, this may be you Capricorn, the Empress reversed, and you are feeling like things are not fair. 
uh, you're not reaping, you know, any benefits with this person. But it's interesting we have temperance and justice reversed. And this is definitely a lack of spiritual growth, right? It, it, it could be. But there could be spiritual growth here. But you're wondering if it's going on. Because I feel like you are kind of in the dark about this. About whoever this is. About. There's a lot of hope here that you are still uh, holding on to with this situation. And we see temperance here. There may be a Sagittarian here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like what went on in the past is that you wanted, yeah, you wanted balance and harmony with somebody. You could have wanted them to grow up spiritually as well. But they, in the past, they were, this justice card in the reverse is... It's really kind of talking about this person and, uh, mm -hmm. and then we have, uh, we have the magician. I feel like that's reversed though. Well, it is reversed and it's, it's really kind of supposed to be like that. Really interesting. So, uh, right here, somebody was not, uh, the magician reverse can be like a trickster maybe, but, uh, we do have the seven of swords here. I feel like this, this, this reading here is about the inability to manifest some, something with somebody, this rebirth here, because of their lack of maturity, uh, or their lack of their own spiritual balance, spiritual growth, the lack of their own harmony in their life. And I feel like whoever this is, is bringing it on themselves, right? Yeah. And so here we have the nine of swords and, uh, mm-hmm. And this is your mindset here. Justice was reversed over here in the recent past. Yeah, it was. Your mindset here is a nine of swords. You're worried about rebuilding with this person, ten of swords. Possibly if they can rebuild their own situation, their own life, maybe. Right? Maybe they have to, you know, rebuild. Maybe there was kind of a drug problem here or something. But you're worried here about rebuilding. And uh, your mindset is you might feel like this person is in the same place. Because there is something very mutual going on in this reading. Yeah, there's, it's, it's difficult here in this reading for somebody to get what they want because somebody's not, somebody uh, may have not, may not have grown or so you feel Capricorn. Yeah. The, in the near future, we have judgment. So this is very cool here. And this is a rebirth here. Uh, and it's either a rebirth here because the ace of wands is here next to it or Capricorn. This is this energy where somebody's making a decision here to give something up here. That's no longer serving them. Seven of wands reversed. So here he is resisting and, you know, fighting for whatever. This is a giving up and it's a giving up in the way of I'm not resisting anymore. That type of giving up. I'm no longer in resistance. I surrender. Right? A surrender to the divine. And down here is, uh, this is the near future. And so somebody will make a decision here. Whoever has these either vices or can figure out their life or they stayed behind, stayed in the wrong situation. There's, there's a huge dysfunction here in this reading. And it has to do with immaturity for the most part. Here's the Ace of Wands, and now uh, this all gets so good, Capricorn. And uh, mm -hmm, this is your concern. Yeah. So you are concerned here for this Ace of Wands, but, you know, when it sits next to Judgment, uh, this is pretty darn good. So somebody could be coming uh, to, this is in, in the near future, to declare to you that they've surrendered to this. Because I feel like whoever this youthful folly person is, is going to surrender finally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's, that's how it feels in this reading. And it's very beautiful. So here is going to be, uh, your concern, the ace of wands and in, uh, here's the chariot and the chariot is showing up in your environment and this is movement. So let's have a look at this, uh, this card here. It's called youthful folly. Mm -hmm. Be on guard for the careless or rebellious attitudes characteristic of inexperience. Yeah, interesting. Just as a youth requires instruction, 
This is a good time to focus on learning lessons from a patient teacher or from life experience. See, somebody here was resisting learning. Yeah, for sure. Is there a circumstance in your life that you have failed to understand? Perhaps because you didn't appreciate its inherent complexities. Be respectful of anything or anyone who has something to teach you right now. I feel like this is your person though, Capricorn. It's possible it's you. If you are focusing on a relationship, ask yourself which of you is currently the student and which of you is the sage or the master. If you are a parent, ask yourself who is being the teacher, my child or me? goodness, right? In order to be ready for challenging times, let education be an ongoing part of your life. Yeah. Develop the necessary mindset and willpower to carry you through confusing times. Notice how it says develop the necessary mindset and willpower. Uh, and this is most of us have to kind of de to develop that because for whatever reason, you know, uh, in life, but uh, whoever's doing this here, I feel like is opening up to learning this and being receptive and uh, looking at life and saying in, in understanding through experience, but after some type of hard, like hard knock life here. Yeah. After some type of harsh lesson, some type of Saturnian lesson, Capricorn, you, you guys would know about that. That is your ruling planet Develop the necessary mindset. Okay. The wise realize that experience, especially difficult experience is a most powerful teacher. And I have said that. Yeah. It also goes on to say, uh, you know, you can, you can offer your wisdom to people, but if they don't seem open to it back off, cause it's, uh, it's counterproductive and it is very like exhausting. Yeah. The chariot Capricorn sits in your environment. That's a beautiful card to be in your environment. And this is movement overcoming obstacles triumph. Yeah. We'll get a card on that. And we have with it the fool. Yeah. You see, this is what I'm saying. This is, this is going really well. This is really interesting here. How somebody learned through the school of hard knocks here. And now that person has surrendered. The fool sits with the chariot. This is like, I'm going on a new adventure. I'm going to overcome all my obstacles. Uh, and I'm going to have movement in my life. There was something stagnant here because somebody did not want to learn. Yeah. There was something stagnant. Yeah. And we see all these endings now, these completions. Uh, we have the nine of nine of swords, the 10 of swords, and these are completions both. Mm -hmm. And so your hopes and desires Capricorn is the moon and justice. And so the moon and justice on the name of this card, I feel like I did say it is youthful folly. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. And so here, the moon and justice, Capricorn, you're unsure if you're going to have justice with this person or if this person will grow up or if there will be har harmony and balance. And yeah, this is, this is what you are like in the dark about with the moon and justice. And let's get one more card on justice. And we have the ace of swords. Yeah. You're unsure if you're going to have a new beginning. You could also be really unsure here uh, because both have swords and this can talk about clarity and decisions and focus. And I feel like you are uh, kind of doubting if this person will, will is really kind of going to step up and, you know, uh, man up or raise the bar or whatever, woman up even, whatever it is. But you, I feel like you are kind of uh, thinking that they may not. And in your potential outcome, I find really interesting two of wands, seven of swords, and the two of the wands are always about movement, even though he's standing there. And the seven of swords, he's walking away. And in the outcome here, the sevens are contemplative or uh, evaluative, right? I feel like uh, this is about, in the end, this is about somebody who leaves something behind here. And uh, maybe they're sneaky ways, it's possible. Uh, but there's some type of an escape because there's, there's some type of a surrender. Now... I'm not saying it's a necessary, uh, the kind of escape where, you know, I left the back door. I had to, you know, run out the back door cause you know, my wife's chasing me with a pitchfork or a hay fork or whatever. Right. It's not necessarily that it could be. <laughs> and, uh, you know, here though is uh, a choice and this is in your potential outcome. Somebody makes a choice. You or this person, uh, to move, have forward movement, movement in their life and to live some type of a new world here. Yeah, because he's holding the globe and I, I want to live a whole new way. 
Uh, I do believe there was a lot of crossroads. There were many crossroads in whoever, whoever this is about. Many crossroads in their life, I feel like. Uh, but it's beautiful here because there's like this, um, what's that word? Not reconciliation, but there's kind of a, like, uh, a, a reckon, a reckoning almost like, well, I have to accept this type of ending, but, uh, this is all for the good and all for the future. Yeah. And, uh, there's a maturity here. I believe there is. And then we have the ace of pentacles with it and see, this is what I mean. So we have a potential outcome where somebody, you or your person chooses Capricorn, a brand new beginning. And the seven of swords is, it may be a plan where somebody has to maybe like run out the back door here, but I feel like this is all, uh, somebody probably feels really alone. This, this guy can be the lone wolf and somebody feels really alone in this reading. I feel like it definitely could be you, but this other person here who has, was resisting for such a long time to the divine source energy, right? To like awakening and just their higher consciousness, right? And, you know, living uh, with more wisdom and insight in their life. They've surrendered. They have ran away from something here. They could have ran away. This could be them running away from their kind of showing where they were before. And now they're going to have a new beginning with you, Ace of Pentacles. And the choice is made here. This choice is made with maturity right here. Yeah. So whoever is, you know, doing this, I feel like is waking up in this reading. Uh, but only after like a bunch of bumps on the road. Yeah, we're going to end this reading, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.